All right. Do you have an update on uh, Okada? We talked about yesterday. Um, not really. As far as like, I mean, look, it, it look, it's like I, who, you know, he's going to go to whoever makes the best offer. Um, I know there's people. I mean, you know, I've I've heard from people and talked to people who know him very well, who have talked to him, you know, in the last day or two, and he has not decided. You know, it's not like a secret. He just hasn't decided yet. And um, and he's not whatever. I know people in AEW who I know people in AEW who think they've got him. I know people in AEW who hope they've got him, but don't think they've got him. Uh, I know people in WWE who hope they've th- they're they going to get him and um, who believe that, um, you know, one person mentioned who knows him mentioned that, you know, he's. You know, I guess I don't know if this is like wishful thinking because of the feeling that probably. Uh, Tony will offer more money and the original offers from what I gather he did um, is that like, but he, you know, he wants the legacy and it's kind of like they're, they're like, well, maybe we can pay him less, but we can do the, you can have your WrestleMania moment. And again, like what his goal is in his life, you know, for some people that, that means more. And then either way, look, either way, he's going to make great money. So it's like, it's like, I always tell people when, when, when it was super top people, right when they always ask about like, you know, what, what's your advice? And it's always, I will always like, if you're a middle guy or whatever, I would, my advice always is, is go with the money or, um, or where you perceive your opportunities. Right. You know, cause uh, depending on who you are, some people are better suited for WWE. Some people are better suited for AEW. When you're a top guy, who's going to make big money either way. What I always say is, is go where the fun is because you're already rich. Or you're going to be rich. You don't got to worry about that. So you don't want to be miserable. So don't go where you're going to be miserable. And that's what I would say for him. But the key to that is, is that that could be not necessarily going with a bigger offer. Because mm-hmm. if, if you're just throwing out numbers, if you make $3.5 million a year, I'm just throwing out numbers. I'm not saying this is what Okada is going to make. You make $3.5 million a year and you're miserable. That sucks. You know what I mean? You're still miserable. If you make two million a year and you're super happy, it's like way better than three point five million a year and being miserable. And especially in this, so you kind of want to. Plus, it's like it's it's the, you know, he's thirty six. He's he can obviously still go because he had two of the best matches of the year in the first two weeks of the within within nine days of each other, um, you know. And so so you kind of like, do you want to go out there and have? all these great matches, you know, where you can go out there on a pay-per-view and you've got 25 minutes and you're going to be featured. Maybe AEW is a place to go. Do you want to go in there and and take your chance that maybe you can wrestle Roman Reigns at WrestleMania? I mean, and I don't know that, he, you know, get that chance, you know, but if you got a lot of confidence and, and he should have a lot of confidence, maybe that's what you do. Do you, And the other thing is, is like, if he goes to AEW, he will be respected because of the idea that you're Okada and you're a superstar. The fans will will, will pop for him. I mean, they, I don't know if it will sustain as a weekly character, but certainly we've seen every time he's been on an AEW show, the place goes crazy and he moves tickets. Um, WWE, it's not as certain, but the one that is interesting to me is in that dressing room, you know, and he doesn't have any issues or anything like that. I've never neg- negative thing about him. Everybody likes him. But the thing is, is like, there is that feeling, and I don't even think it'll be from the wrestlers because the wrestlers pretty wrestlers pretty much are not, you know, like as close-minded as management in 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 WWE. And and again, it's new management, so that in a sense, you know, the Vince McMahon's and the Kevin Dunn's, those guys are actually gone, so that's kind of changed. But it's like I always think of you know a guy who comes in who was the top guy in their company, and I think of like when Mystico came in, and Mystico comes in, he walks around like he's a superstar. And it's like, how dare you walk around like you're a superstar? You've never done anything in the world, even though he actually was a bigger draw than everyone in that dressing room. Everyone. Yeah. But he walked around like he was a big star and he, people were all mad. Management was mad. You've never, you know what I mean? And it was just a disaster waiting to happen. Um, if they treat Okada like, hey, you're lucky to be, here. you know, like you do the thing of like, you're lucky to be here. And look, now you're here in the big time. You know, that could be a really weird dynamic because 
yeah, it's more of a big time than New Japan, but he's kind of more of a star than, you know, aside from Roman Reigns, in in some ways than most of those guys as far as being a star culturally in his mm-hmm. country. He's bigger than 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 these guys, than most of these guys are in our country. So it's not like, you know what I mean? He, and he's already established himself at a certain level. So there's that dynamic. Like, like I said, I don't think it will be an issue in the dressing room because most of the wrestlers... Um, you know, I, the, the WWE wrestlers are not snob WWE guys. Some of them could be, but they're, they're really not. But they will all respect him, you know, more than they probably respected Mystico. Do but, we know how uh, Nakamura was treated when he finally made it to the main Well, game? you got to remember it was NXT, so it was a completely different mentality. And then by the time he came to the main roster, he'd proven himself in NXT. But, mm-hmm. yeah, there was no – I never heard not anything negative. But, but the thing is, is like, you know, Nakamura and Okada have very different – mentalities in the sense that nakamura was looking you know nakamura's body was breaking down and he was looking to make a lot of money um through his charisma you know what i mean you know he knew that that wwe was the perfect place for him because he could you know get to a certain level and all this and i think okada really would wants to excel more still and is wwe the place for it i mean it could be um but also, you know, I think the WWE, the English, you know, and his English isn't great. The English isn't the best thing. Um, and just the aura of someone, uh, I mean, it, it won't be as bad as it would have been. If it was five years ago um, or even two years ago, the Vince McMahon version, I would have said, like, uh, he probably should go to AEW. Now, you know, there's a, there's a, there's an argument. But, you know, I think... Um, I mean, AEW is probably the favorite in that sense, but, mm-hmm. but it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's anyone who says that it's a done deal. It isn't a done deal. But, um, I do know that, that there's people in AEW who are, uh, thinking they got him. Yeah. What about Seth Rollins? I guess we'll find out Monday. He's going to make an announcement. I don't know if that means it's worse than we thought, or he'll do the thing of come out. And do the, uh, oh, you know, my knees out, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to be back in three weeks. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, but but um, it will be really weird if they try to have him vacate the title. And he's out for three months, considering that, that Roman wrestles so infrequently and they never talk about vacating the title. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be um, you know, so, yeah. I mean, um, you know, it, it, you know if, if he's out, you know, if he's out past mania, I think that they'll for sure vacate the title. And, and um, then it's a question of like, who do you go to? Because you, you, you kind of don't want to go with Cody because you've just ruined, you know what I mean? You've, you've ruined everything. If you go with Cody right now and he doesn't beat Roman, um, although they could. Um, and then drew, you know, like I said, drew, Drew's probably the best one, not even probably, he would be the best one at that point. Um, but the problem with Drew is, is that, you know, he's, he could be leaving right after WrestleMania. So do you want to put the title on the guy who could be leaving after Mania? So that's a different question. You know, you always got Brock Lesnar. If you are having him be the guy to get beat at WrestleMania, you could do it. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. So, and and that would be by Punk too, Mm -hmm. most likely. Right. I mean, he's, that's, that's kind of the direction it looks like it would be going. Yeah. Yeah. I've all, I've also heard. You know, put the belt up in the Royal Rumble, which always makes the Royal Rumble a little bit more fun with the stakes. You, 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 you could, you could, you could do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, uh, you know, obviously, my hope is is for Seth to you know to be fine and and not fine, but you know, not that hurt yeah. because uh, he's been on uh, he's been on a pretty good run for his career. Yeah, I think the strongest run of his career, and. Um... It'd be a shame if he misses WrestleMania after this, after doing so well and being so over, you know, and, and being the strongest he's been as ever in his career. Yeah. Do you have an update on Kenny Omega? Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, I mean, it's going to be nothing for seven weeks and then in seven weeks, they're going to see how everything goes. And at that point he will either need surgery or he, you know, I don't know how he won't need surgery, but if he can heal, because he, you know, normally you'd have already done surgery right away, but his condition and everything was, was so bad 
that they could not risk the surgery at the time. And now they're kind of just, you know, um, you know, it's going to be like in seven weeks, we'll either have the surgery or we won't. And then at that point we'll see. So everything is just waiting, but, um, you know, it's, he's in a tough situation. I mean, it's like, I feel very bad for him. You know, it's not like, um, until that happens, you know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty, it's a painful situation. You know, I mean, it's, it's like, uh, he's gonna, he's got to deal with this for, you know, and it's not, um, it's not fun. You know, it's not like he's sitting there and just resting. I mean, but hopefully, uh, you know, he can get through this as, as good as he can. So does it sound like he's dealing with uh, a lot of pain right now while he's in this kind of waiting period? Comes and goes. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it's yeah. You know, it's uh, it's not fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.